in 2019, we took our first ever cruise and we took you along with us for our Caribbean Cash Tour. Now we're proud to present Caribbean Cash Tour 2. We visit nine ports of call in Eastern and Western Caribbean and we'd like you to join us. Come along, adventures beckon us and geocaches wait to be found. sure where we are yeah if there was only something nearby that would say where exactly we are you know like the ocean a sign. is beautiful yeah and the ship is right there and oh look oh amber cove <laughs> awesome. welcome to amber cove dominican republic and this episode of cash canada where we discover amber oh. <laughs> Okay, our driver's name is Vladimir. Okay, and we're in uh, Amber Cove, Puerto Rico, yeah. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. <laughs> we're not in Amber Cove anymore. <laughs> Must have had too much to drink. And we've got Lyric Glass in the back. Hey. And Sky Cat over here, and uh, okay. occasional geocacher, Air okay. Force girl. In lots of countries. <laughs> in lots of countries. All right, let's go. Yeah, Chris and Maddie's. Oh, right here. Chris and Maddie's. Okay. Yeah, that's the name of the cache, and it's yeah. actually a restaurant oh, okay. right across the street, or hotel, about or whatever. 40 meters right here. Bar and restaurant. With the plastic yeah. thing with the white thing in it, there it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's, it's a peanut butter jar. Yeah, I can get it. Okay. You can get it? Yep. Yay, it took a little consultation of the logs for us to locate it and peering into the uh, bush where it was mentioned Lyric last spotted and we got it first one done in Porta Plata This geocache is going to unnerve some geocaching purists. We just did this on our first episode, and we're about ready to do it again. I hope it's not on that little island. <laughs> There's a rock there. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. You see it? Nope. Nope. No. No. I moved the rock, but there's no. There's nothing down there. The guidelines do say that in order to log a geocache, your name must be on the log sheet. We agree, but from time to time, we just go with it. Jeez. Oh, okay, the cache, there's no cache container, but according to the past logs, and we did this once recently, just on this vacation. And with permission of the cache owner. Yeah, just take a selfie that you were there, so here we go. Cheeses. Cheese. There's lots of turtles here. Mm -hmm. I was watching them while they were looking for the Yeah, cache. let's take a look. That's a beautiful little spot. It doesn't make it right, but a recent log by the CO stated, moved, and we are not set up right now. This will be a virtual cache for this season. Happy caching. He's in the sunshine, so you might, you might be able to catch him. Can you zoom in? I can see two of them, yeah. yeah. Did you know that in early days of geocaching, there was a time when an owner could change a traditional or other type of geocache to a virtual? Hmm. That is so cool. This was worth it for the tour. Another one's coming. Five. They're coming to say hello. We're on our way to the Amber Museum, but we found out when we pulled in, they moved. So if you're in uh, Porta Plata looking for the virtual cache at the Amber Museum, just make sure you let them know it's the old location where you need to take a photo, which is what Skycat is attempting to do because she's never been here before, but we have, and you can check that video out right here.
So this is the old location of the Ambien Museum, and here's our selfie now, and our selfie from our first visit in 2019. Can you see any differences in us? Yeah. Or the museum? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, and remember that this is no longer the actual location of the museum. But, no. But is the point for the virtual. Yeah. Yes. The earth cache that we're stopping for here is a 2-5. And it actually, the coordinates are out in the middle between the two places from the, uh, the north side or the west side and the east side where the fort is. So we figured if we could get to the point, we're close enough and uh, can get the answers and a photo. Okay, one thing this location doesn't have to worry about for the earth cache, for erosion is ice thaw. <laughs> Freeze and thaw, nah, not happening here. Guarding the entrance to the port near the earth cache is El Moro de San Felipe, built between 1564 and 1577. In 1800, troops and sailors from the USS Constitution captured the fort during the Quasi-War with France. Did you know that amber is only found in the Dominican Republic? I didn't know that! And that's over the basis of Jurassic Park and all the many movies that followed. And there's even one here with a mosquito in it. for coming with us to Amber Cove. Yeah, it was such a great adventure and some cool geocaches to find. Yeah. What an interesting place. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where, Where will, will geocaching, geocaching take, take you? you?